when you meet another actor, you know, you meet, let's say Brad Pitt, you know, at the end of the day, you know he's just another actor, you know? Yeah. But when you when you walk into an audition with a director that literally you can quote every movie he's ever made, you know, that's a whole other level of, oh, I really cannot screw this up. <laughs> so The pressure was on, you were like... The pressure was on, man. And, uh, you know, just to be part of this, and we all know how wonderfully he writes for women. Yeah. It is such a gift. You know, I was actually given dialogue that made sense. It was smart. And you actually have to think about it again. You know? Uh huh. That's gotta be refreshing <laughs> and nice. Is. Oh, it was incredible. I mean, you know, I, I threw myself into it and I put on 40 pounds of muscle. And I was like in character the whole time. I had a great time. It's like I lost myself in the park for six months in Germany. But then also directing the film within the film was exhausting. It was the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, I bet. I bet. And like, what was it like working with Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt is the coolest. Yeah. You know, a lot of actors show up with an entourage of 12 people, he's just with a 12 back. You'd never know that this is his life. You'd never know, he's just so cool. I'm not especially a violence guy, but I think the violence is a good punctuation mark to keep the audience on their toes. I read the script, and then we met, and from the day we met, 13 and a half weeks later, we were shooting in Germany, and it was quite a ride. Uh, but there was, if I would say there's one part in this movie that, uh, that was maybe one of the toughest things that I've ever done, and Quentin's probably ever done, there's this big fire sequence at the end of the movie. We have to burn down an entire theater with 350 people in it. And how do you do that? And how do you do that in stage? Babelsberg Studio, that's a historical stage made of wood. And that was a, that was a challenging thing to accomplish. I mean, there was a there was a big production challenge in this movie that um, and the biggest thing about it was that Quentin wanted to do all in camera. He didn't want to, you know, do it optic and with the visual effects. So um, that was a challenge for sure. When he comes by, ask him, ask him, say prequel. Prequel? Because he's got one. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, tell me about working on this film. I mean, what, what kind of... Um... It's outrageous. Outrageous? But, you know, again, we had a great international cast, and everyone was... What made this film different is everyone was speaking their, their own native languages. Which was Which was just a, a bit of a reality that you wouldn't... You don't normally expect. Yeah. Just, you don't expect an audience to appreciate it. It pays off so so well. I hope they do all movies like that. Very cool. Time. Last question. Okay. What what are you working on next that I can let your fans know about? Uh, time off. Really <laughs> you deserve I like it. it. I really like it. <laughs> simple as, uh, hey, wouldn't it be cool to do a bunch of guys on a mission war movie? All right, now start writing it and it becomes something else and it takes on a life of its own. Before we get there, all right, it is something, uh, it, in fact, I usually think the simpler the idea to sit down, the better. 